Hello, I'm John Tengis, Director of the Laboratory for Audience Interactive Technologies, or LAIT. I and programmer Tony Reimer and our team have developed a mobile application system for use in live performance that we feel is the future of theater. You are about to see video excerpts of Critical Mass, a live dance theater performance produced with our creative collaborator, the metamodern choreographer Chad Michael Hall, at the Krannert Center for the Performing Arts in February 2017. From time to time, a shot of an audience member's phone will appear on screen, showing you how our system integrates with the stage action. At this performance, there were nearly 200 phones active at once, engaging and fully enveloping the audience in a new interactive theatrical experience. I'll be narrating the video as it goes along to give you a sense of just what it was like to be in the theater on that February evening. As the audience enters the theater, they download the app and make a temporary username, which allows them to send text and selfies through the app to the giant cube on stage for others to see. In this performance, they were having text conversations and responding to each other's photos, which created a community among the audience, immediately engaging them in the performance more than if they felt alone in the theater. The audience is asked to respond to questions asking where they are in the theater. This allows us to send content and information to different groups of phones, either to the whole group or to a certain number of each group. On stage is a 12-foot cube that acts as a main character and communicates with the phones through the app. Now that the cube and phones are connected, they work together to build suspense on stage. That leads to a surprise explosion of the dancers from the cube. Level two, chain reaction. Each dancer dances a solo having to do with their opinions about social media. The audience is presented with buttons that allow them to choose dancers to listen to, to hear just what they are dancing about. This is a wonderfully interactive way to encourage understanding of the art form and deepen focus on the dance. countdown that appears on the phone alerts the audience that the dancers are to change positions on stage. At various times, different audience groups are invited to leave their seats and come on stage. This physically engages the audience in the performance and gives them an intimate experience with the dancers. Initiating fusion sequence. In this section of the dance, the eight solos have become four duets. The audience is presented with buttons on their phone that let them vote for their favorite duet. The vote tallies are shown on the cube, and the projections on the floor increase in size in relation to the vote count. This allows the audience not only to connect with their feelings about the dance, but also to affect the projections directly. The dance then changes to follow whichever duet wins the vote, which changes the course of the dance every performance. In this section of the dance called Meltdown, 
A series of internet memes is projected onto the cube and onto the audience phones, enveloping the audience in a way not seen before. The cube is a metaphor for technologies that develop beyond the ability of our collective beliefs to come to terms with. Phones really make this shutdown sequence an impactful experience for the audience. Their phones shut down at the same time as the cube, which represents in part a nuclear reactor making for a powerful theatrical effect. I hope you've enjoyed this short look into the future of live performance. For more information, please visit our website at lait.ncsa.illinois.edu. Thank you for watching.